in the next set. Go ahead, Neptune, take it away. Let's get into it. We got Umbreon versus Luck. Umbreon being uh, one of the fantastic cheeks that you're seeing that has recently come down to the DFW area and moved into this area. Uh, but, you know, Luck being Luck, as everyone knows. Now, granted, last match, um, and uh, Strongman has a PM tier list also on Smash Bros. if you guys are interested. But we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so this is a grudge match. Let's, this let's, is let's, a grudge let's, match. Let's, let's, just, let's just set the scene. Let's just set the scene. Let's set the scene. Okay, so so the first time that these two faced off, yes, uh, I think that um, what, what's it, what's the face? Um, uh, blah, can't even say words. Umbria might have even knocked Luck out of the tournament the first time that they that they played. Well, maybe the first time they ever played, yeah. but this time around, yeah, this he, time around he didn't do so well. It, it was Luck, the opposite. Luck yeah. knocked him into losers, and he's and sitting here and Umbria saying, "I don't know what I was supposed to do." And that's why when he came to me and I, and I started talking, I said, you don't let him breathe. You go in as hard as you can, as quickly as you can, and you don't let him do anything. Yeah, you know, there's there's so much to be developed in regards to Sheik's metagame. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. And those combos from Umbreon. I told him, take yes. the first stock in under 20 seconds. That was impressive. Okay, so he wasn't able to follow up. He's not going to get again. a potential combo set up um, using that forest match because he tripped on the banana peel. He clashes the banana peel for himself. Okay, but every time you're noticing, Luck has a, has a tendency. He has a habit. As soon as he comes oh. to the edges, he always uses side B to get on because it's a command grab. So how do you beat a command grab? You avoid it. Okay. So he's probably going to have to do things where he spaces him out or jumps above him and then drops down and then bears. Good stuff. Trying to set up position. The oh, bear, okay. just the tip. Oh, oh no! Too risky. Too risky. That too was risky. so quick by luck. Too risky. Oh my god, that was such a good option. That Ooh, was excellent. Yeah, he used the really invincibility good. and used that dare. That was great. Yeah, and it came above luck to avoid the command grab, like you said before. Right. And it was a counterattack as well. Really smart. Move in. Okay, so luck's trying to get that peel back, force a knockdown, establish some stage control. He tried to go Trace. cross up Nair, didn't get it. Uh, they, they, they traded, you're right. Ooh, Ooh drop down wow. there. That was so good by Umbreon. Luck can still do this. You know, there's, there's, there's a deficit, but he can make no, this No, of happen. course, absolutely. And and all, we've we've talked about Luck in the in previous matches, in previous times even. Um, Luck is a guy who has these brilliant moments, right? Yeah. And once he has those moments, those are stocks, generally. He really does thrive off of the momentum. Oh, wow, those needles. That's it. And that conversion was just so clean. Now you saw Luck. Now you see Luck moving up in his seat. Now he's thinking more. He's on his last stock. If anything, he's playing to get data. He's Just hoping that he's not, you know, that Umbreon is in Luck's head, especially for a player who's so momentum-based. It can be really rough. Okay, so he makes it back onto the stage. He's trying to really get the knockdown. There it is, and the down smash. Oh, probably down here to forward air. Wow, that was really tricky stuff. Luck, wow, he's looking pretty solid. Okay. Mm, interesting back and forth. Okay, so Luck has a decent amount of momentum. This, this is what we're talking about. Those tech chases. But yes. that dodge made it so that he uh, missed just a bit. That was great position wow. from Luck. He was low. He didn't get to hit, get hit by the needles. Yeah. He used that trigonometry against this him. This could be... Mm. No, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Until, no, but that's good it. spacing. That was such good spacing by Umbreon. Fair. Oh no! He's trying to go for the reverse fair. That's it. Wow. So Umbreon taking that first game with a two stock victory. This is yes. But intense, this, you see, you literally see after I sat down, uh, you saw me give him the advice. I told him straight up, don't let him breathe. What is happening now? Yeah, he's, you can see that he's, he's not giving him as much room. Before he was using the needle to essentially throw away the banana. Now he's in his zone where Luck doesn't feel as comfortable even pulling out the banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now you're conditioning him. So here's what happens. You've conditioned him to say, okay, you throw out peel. I don't acknowledge this peel. I'm going in for you, right? I don't, and even if the peel is out there, there's been a good job of negating the threat or not even acknowledging the threat. So now what is the cost benefit? The cost is you potentially waste time throwing out the peel and take damage and potentially get into another setup that's going to cost you your stock, like you did the first time, the touch of death within less than 20 seconds. Yeah. Or, you know, even worse. Now you have to, now you just have to play footsies. Now you play solid. Now you play footsies. And then whenever you knock the opponent off the stage, that's your opportunity to get peeled. So now it's limiting the options, right? I'm just curious as to where Luck is going to go more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
They're screaming. <laughs> they're screaming about something in the background. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. I love this community. Y'all are so weird. This is great. All right, let's yeah. get into it. Um, y'all scare me sometimes. Nah, dude, it's great. It's okay. all love, though. It's all love. Yes. All okay. Love. So, what? 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 Yeah, all the love. Oh, all the love. All the love. Hey! Baby. hey. Yeah, there all it is. the love. There it is. Okay. So let's get right into the second game. This is losers finals. Luck needs to win this. I'll see he's getting sent home. Yes, With you're absolutely place. right. Big love to sh big love to Cephalon. Big shout out to that dude. Um, all right, coming in, dropping down, trying to get that good situation. He's using the bears, catching with the oh my god, dash attack. Up airs for days. Bears. Wow, and you can tell that Umbreon is just so comfortable on this stage. Maybe not the best. Uh, oh wow, wow, just made it. That was so good. He's able to make it safely. That oh, was incredible. Oh, yeah. And I think Umbreon may, may have even done some smash DI to make it so that he was uh, towards the uh, stage rather than uh, sent to the shadow. That's it. Okay, so Umbreon sitting at 77%. Luck once again using his invincibility, pulling out the banana peel. He knows how integral that is to his play style. Yes. So he needs to get that out. Did he cross cancel the first hit of the uh, up tilt to get that uh, down tilt? Let's see. Okay, he's trying to see if he can get some of his positioning. Um, right now, all Luck cares about is getting that peel out, getting positioning, and starting to change tempo. Because right now, you are seeing Umbreon just doing crazy amounts. Luck really wants that throw. Umbreon's been reading those really well, and he's been able to spot dodges. Luck is looking for that next fair. No, he's going to go for the command grab. He's going to punish him because there's a bit of recovery on that. Oh, drop down bear. That was pretty crazy. That was perfectly spaced. Not able to get the setup. He now needs to get another peel. Here's another one. Down tilt. Oh. oh. Hits him with the with the uh, jetpack. Okay. So his spacing is is pretty solid. Like he barely avoided the death tag there earlier. He just down wasn't able to get the punish that he's looking for. Good down smash there. That'll take that first stock. That was really good from Luck. He's sitting at 108%. What right. He, he's going to get down tilted. He's going to get down tilted to fair. Or he's going to get uh, forward tilt to fair. Or because of the platforms, they might just do a drop down bear. Correct. There it is. Now it's positioning. Down. Okay, there's a down tilt. Up, up air. air. Yep. That was the one that we forgot about. Luck acknowledging. Then yeah. All right. I see you, homie. It's uh, it's a stock of it's a stock difference between the two. Now bear in mind, you see the fifteen percent there. That is fully charged needles. That is the equivalent of a full smash attack. That's a active threat that you have to be aware of. And if you give Sheik time to charge, whether it's between stocks or while you are recovering. You're gonna have another threat to be worried about, and that's a range smash attack. Okay, so Luck was able to get the command grab, wasn't able to get much of a follow up off of it, unfortunately. Oh, oh, he wow! He used so invincibility, good. dropped down, nared him, pushed him into the stage, and then finished off the stock a la Smash 4. And Luck is down to his last stock, maybe even his last stock of this tournament if he doesn't make this miracle happen. He has so much ground to cover, and he's about to get knocked out of this tournament by the man who he sent to loser's bracket. He can still make this happen, though. He just needs to find that momentum. Oh, there's a knockdown from that banana peel. The oh, no, no, no. Himself. Okay, drop down fair. Oh, and he's... Grab one? Tell. He's, he's just feeling a, a, a little bit... Uh, he's so oh. hungry to finish off the stock that he's playing. A little bit too committal. Okay, okay. Being a little bit too risky. Luck is trying his best to find position advantage. Getting these peels. Trying to cut off options. Doing good jobs. Chucking it straight at Umbreon. He's good stuff shielding, though. He's slowly doing it. He's slowly taking back control of this match. He just needs to keep this little bit of momentum he has. That trade might have knocked it out of him. That's it, wow, it. this could be game. Oh, there's... Okay. You see what... He punished him. Air. He punished him for getting peeled there. That back air. He didn't have the best DI there. Oh, another forward air. That's and it. there it is. That's it. That entire... That, that stock ended. Because he, he jumped up, he threw up heel, and that was it. He was in recovery. He commits to an option. That's And that's what's so scary, is that when you commit to an option, you have to commit till you finish. You do. When you are neutral, that is the most powerful position for you to be in. So once you commit to something, you now have given the opponent a chance to do something. To push you out, to get positioning, to gain some sort of advantage. If they gain any sort of advantage, then it wasn't the safest option. 